Hey, what's up guys? Today's episode tool review Tuesday is a special buy. So let's get started. I'll show you what it's all about. Roll the intro. In my years of home building, I could go a long ways with a circular saw, but there's just times where you need to have a table saw, something like this. And when I first started bringing the tools to the job site, I inherited an old Craftsman table saw from my grandpa, and I think it was mostly steel and cast iron. The thing weighed a ton, and trying to put that in a enclosed cargo trailer and strap it down, there have been times where like the straps broke and the thing fell over, and I had to get a, a plate welded, and there's like a belt on the motor. It was just a real mess trying to bring to a job site. So I purchased this right here several years ago, and this was much more portable. But I'm really impressed now that DeWalt has made the DW745, which is even more portable, it's a little smaller. I think they found that they don't need to have quite as much of the size of this. And you can do a lot of the same things on this right here. And it's just a lot easier to store with all your other tools, bring into the job site. I just want to point out a couple of things that I've always liked about this older saw right here. It has a miter gauge here that's a little more deluxe. This is the new one. The numbers are a little harder to read, so uh, if I could recommend something to DeWalt, I'd say try to go back to something like this. Now I know that we're sacrificing the size to go to something a little bit smaller. The thing I do like is this goes like 25 and a half inches or something like that in the cut where you can only get 20 inches. So there might be some times where you want to cut plywood right in half. So you're not going to be able to cut 24 inches on that smaller saw right there where you can with this one right here. Other than that, I see nothing but improvements on this right here. So let's take a closer look. So I'd like to show you some of the specs on the box because that often has some of the key highlights of it. And then I'll go through and I'll show you some of the other specs. So it's a 10 inch compact job site table saw and folding stand. So it's definitely meant to bring with you to the job site. You could easily put it in the back seat of your truck or in the bed of your truck or in an enclosed cargo trailer or landscape trailer. It shows the team lift 73 pounds, but actually the saw itself is 45 pounds. It's a 10 inch blade, as I mentioned, 24 teeth on it, which is considered a construction blade. It has a trademark Sight Pro modular guarding system, which enhances visibility and versatility by allowing the user to quickly adjust the guarding components appropriate for each application. It has a 15 amp 3850 RPM motor, which quickly rips through hardwoods with ease, also treated lumber as well. Rack and pinion fence, which makes the fence adjustment fast, smooth, and accurate. Onboard storage is provided for the Site Pro modular guarding components and the push stick to provide easy access to each of these items at all times. I love the fact they did that because there have been times where I've used my other table saw and I'm running around looking for the push stick for it. And I like the fact that it just neatly clips onto the fence. Tube steel construction for maximum strength on the job. Quickly and easily folds flat for maximum compactness and transport. It has a basic hardware kit which allows for fast and quick Assembly right out of the box. Three year limited warranty on it. 90 day returnable. One year free service. Safety glasses.
There we go. All right, if you put the fence on the right-hand side, it'll cut up to 20 inches. And it has this little flip-down leg lever right here. I'm not sure what you call it exactly. But when that folds down flat, that allows for extra support extending that table right there so you keep it from bowing down. Then you just flip it over that way when you have it on the table itself. And then to lock it, it's really easy right there, a little lever. That locks it in place so you can't turn that. And then to change the blade, you unlock it right there. You can lift that off. You can easily get to that. So, and then there's the arbor. One thing to mention about that, it does not have the size to allow for dado blades. And that just goes easily back in place. No tools required for uh, taking the cover off, but for changing the blades, there's the kit right there on that side. So I'll just show you to change the fence from one side to the other. Make sure that locks in place. There. That rack and pinion adjustment. Push that to lock it down. Okay, so then if you want to put the guard on here, raise it up like this. And the guard storage is right there on that side. And this just goes on really easy. On the riving knife back here, it just connects to that little hook right there. Just like that. So you can put your, you can lock it in place. So if you wanna leave that up while you're sawing, you can do that if you wanna put it down. It just keeps you protected, making this as safe as possible. And then on this side right here, there's some nice cord storage. All right, so let's raise this all the way up. So at the 90 degree angle right here, 3.125 is the maximum depth cut. If you rotate this at 45 degrees, you get a two and a quarter inch maximum depth cut. The height of the table, 18 three quarter inches. The measurement of the gray part of the table itself, 19 inches on the length and about 22 and a half inches on the width. And I really like the design of the stand because as you're pushing your material this way, you have more leg length down there. So that'll definitely keep it from ever tipping over as you're pushing something. If it happens to catch up here, there's a lot of leverage back here holding it, resisting it from tipping. So it's definitely a nice solid stand. This right here is the storage for the kickback paws. They're something, as you can see right here, they help with the kickback to catch the wood and dig into it to keep it from throwing it back at you. And that's something I believe can be mounted up here on the riving knife. It has really nice handles right here for gripping it. And then the saw mounts to the stand with these bolts right here. So you can easily take those off. It's really a pretty simple, straightforward design. Very much like my other one that I've had, I'm guessing for at least 10 years. So I can definitely say this is really gonna come in handy. One of the things I think I'm gonna make right away with it is probably some picture frames. So stay tuned for that. Follow my Instagram if you wanna see what those look like, how they turn out. The goal of this video is to help you guys out to see if this table saw is right for you if you're considering making the purchase of it. So if there's something that I didn't mention that you're wondering about, please let me know. I'll be happy to answer it for you. And then if you want to see this in action a little bit more in some upcoming videos, you'll see I'm going to be doing some building with this, making some 45 degree cuts, ripping some material. So if you want to see that, please subscribe to my channel, ring that bell to be notified of future videos. And if you enjoy this particular video, please give it a thumbs up and help support my channel. That's it friends, thanks for watching. See you next time.